Hello and welcome to a Geeky Bit tutorial. This is going to be more of an overview tutorial on how to install an LCD screen in a G3 iMac. We're going to need a few things and parts. So first we need solder, then we'll need a soldering iron. We'll need the Macintosh itself, and then we will need an LCD screen. Now we're going to need some 3D printed parts. To get those parts I used Tinkercad and a digital caliper I had to take measurements and then to make a model that would suffice for what I needed to use it for to mount the LCD screen in the case. Now let's talk about how I got the monitor I got and why this is an overview tutorial instead of an exact tutorial because you can't get the exact model of monitor I got because I had to get it from eBay. As you can see here, this is the monitor I wanted to get from Amazon and I did get it for $50. However, they are now unavailable and the one I got was damaged. So when I returned it, I went to order another one or get a replacement, but they were unavailable. So I had to source a monitor from another location as the other monitors like this were in the hundred to hundreds of dollar range on Amazon. So this right here is the monitor I got off of eBay. Of course it's nothing special, but it is functional and it does match the size we need for the iMac G3. Before we get everything back together, now that I've put in the monitor and the brackets to hold it in place, let's test it and see if it fits and how it looks. Of course it looks great and the screen's displaying perfectly, so I think this is what we want to do. As you can see here, on a side note, I had to leave several unused PCBs inside this housing area because otherwise the Macintosh wouldn't boot. And those are the analog board for the CRT and then the cap for the CRT tube. But don't worry, they aren't getting any high voltage to them. They only have the plug from the power supply PCB that uses some kind of system to detect whether or not these components are installed. So of course the next piece we're working on is the VGA to Macintosh video cable. And as you can see here, it's pretty easy. I found a short little white VGA cable so it matches the aesthetics of the original cable that was in here with the CRT. Now let's talk about costs for doing all of this. So to get everything going, I did more than just install an LCD screen. I did several important and great upgrades for this Mac. So of course we have the Mac itself, which cost $50. Then we have the LCD monitor, which was $4305. Then we have the 512 megabytes of RAM that we installed in this, which was $25.98. Then we have the SD card, which is 64 gigabytes. It will be more than enough for this Macintosh at $13.11. Then we have the SD to IDE adapter for $14. And then we have a floppy power cable that we needed to get so that we could get power to the SD to IDE adapter. Then we have the VGA cable, which was $4.30. And then we have the DB15 pin connector, which was $7.87. And then we have the keyboard and mouse combo because the keyboard and mouse, as you can see here, was damaged. And that was $35.41. And then we have the 3D printed parts at a whopping $46. Since. Of course, that total is $199.79. So, was it worth it? Well, as you can see on eBay, the particular model I got, the green iMac, or the lime green to be specific, is about $200 to $225. So yeah, it was totally worth it. So let's show some of the testing of the iMac G3 while I talk about my thoughts about the iMac G3. Could I have just left out the LCD screen and done this cheaper? Well, yeah, of course I could, but it's twofold for why I wanted to do it. I wanted to know, so in the future, if it needed to be done, as CRTs aren't really made anymore, so the only way to get one is to scavenge one. So if I can figure out how to put an LCD screen in it and to make a tutorial, then that way people in the future can see it. And then the other reason is to bring down the power consumption for the iMac G3. 
street and it did before it was taking up 120 to 150 watts after we did this now it takes up 45 to 50 watts which is a great reduction in power consumption without upgrading this cpu this little mac is maxed out to the hilt and i'm very happy with it so i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it and if so feel free to click that like button and if you aren't subscribed so already feel free to do so and if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos click that bell button